I uh, hope you guys will bear with me on this one because it is emotional uh, in a good way. My name is Kellen Goff, and I am lucky enough to act for uh, video games, animation, um, all else. But above all, I am a fanboy. Always will be. And always have been. Yesterday on Cartoon Network was the English dub premiere of Attack on Titan episode 66. And uh, I am lucky enough to play the voice of uh, Porco Galliard, the jaw titan shifter. I put my all into this episode. I, uh, I really hope uh, that you guys like what we did. There was a lot of heart in it and a, a lot of throat, <laughs> a lot of screaming. Besides that, this episode has a special place in my heart and uh, not because of that. It's because I got the chance to pay homage to not only my favorite show in the world, still to this day, since 2005 when I was 10 years old, uh, on the same exact channel actually, um, but to the actor who was my whole inspiration for becoming an actor in the first place, for it being my dream. Along with uh, Porco's words, I got the chance to portray the roars and growls of the Jaw Titan as well. <laughs> Not happening! And so on. <laughs> the inspiration for that, uh, for the Jaw Titan, was uh, that of D. Bradley Baker and his character Wild Nut on Ben 10. My favorite show ever. Since I was a child, I have had immense, immense respect and admiration for for Mr. Baker. The sounds that animals make were only just that to me until I heard what Dee could do. The way that he can imitate or create a creature and then make it a character uh, without a word. It's the very essence of acting truthfully under imaginary circumstances. And that's exactly what I strive to be able to do as well, since the beginning, as well as him someday, maybe, if I'm lucky. So yeah, D, uh, if you're out there, I hope you get to see this, how deeply your career has impacted me. I'm on Cartoon Network now too, paying homage to you on the same network that I heard you for the first time. And it all started with this little kid with Asperger's who didn't know what he was going to do in life. And didn't really, you know, have any passion until I heard what you could do. You're my hero, dude. This one's for you.